Oh, they require hygiene. <gasps> oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. I spent too much money and not didn't build anything for hygiene. All right, well, let's. Oh, is this a place where I can buy stuff too? Oh, it is. Okay. I didn't have to go all the way back. I thought I had to go all the way back. All right, let's pick up this trash over here. I'm gonna go give this guy a compliment because that's the mission, apparently. Are you done with your nonsense? Sorry I ever said anything nice about you. Actually, underneath that grub booster, I think you're really... Yeah, compliment. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you ever met. And you're probably the biggest one I ever met. Ah, uh, you know you enjoy it. Well, um, how do I build bathrooms, dude? Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? Press green button anyway. Got a guess on the way. I'm signing. They're in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Sure. Because of a premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. I'm not sure who's exploiting who. That's right. Water. Is mutual exploitation a thing? Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? Bathroom. I forgot to build it. Should have talked to this guy after I built the first room. I'm sure, use a lot of words to say very few things. Correct. You must now build bathrooms for your guests. Right. Okay. Well, I got those stuff. Now I can build the bathroom. Oh, I don't have... Okay, so I have to build the sink first. Okay, crafting. I should probably build two bathrooms, right? Do I have the money for it? We'll see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. All right, well... It's gotta be a three by three, so. Mm. Can't build it there, it's gonna block the way. Um, I could do it, yeah. One, two. Yahtzee! There we go, looking good. Uh, we should probably move this though. Um,. me you know what boom let's get more guests all right level 14 hygiene what does my hygiene got I see my hygiene level. Four stars. Okay, that ain't bad. How do I see the level of the hygiene? Hold on. Let me check this out. I think this is the only way to see. Bathroom. Okay. So, Alright, so the bathroom is seven and nine. Nine, level nine hygiene, okay. Which I can accommodate. You. I can accommodate level eight.
think I can accommodate her. I don't know about a level 14. Eight comfort. What's my comfort level? Oh, five, they're only fives. Damn. That's probably why I got a bad review. By medium rug, right? We can do a possum clock, maybe. That is a hundred. No. Oh, but it's four. Mm. Could do a nightstand. Two nightstands. With some scented sticks. Because I don't think the large plants can fit in here. But we'll try it anyway. So 8 and 10 require have the most. Okay. For, uh, uh, not decorations. Damn it. What am I doing? Urgh. Go back to the trash can and buy some stuff because apparently I'm buying the wrong damn thing. <laughs> Is there an upgradable bed or something? Because... Let's check it now. Okay. Now this guy needs 14 hygiene now. What can I build for more hygiene? Can't really do anything about the bathroom, right? Can I buy a better blueprint maybe? like mooching off your own future all right there's bathrooms now amazing not your guest needs for immediate relief are met we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel being comfortable taking some time off Russian that was my third guess recognizing the insight into the customer motivation towards your product he is your product is a key detail of modern marketing you're doing the thing again why would anyone stay in this scum hole Hey, I put a lot of work into this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop deck collectors. Yourself. That's a little dark. Which is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities, a bar. That's the worst. But not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment and distillery. Nice. Okay, so I got those. Alright, I don't time to build a distillery. I'm out of iron nails. No. All right. Well, let's start searching through the trash. I kind of like the fact where I don't have to keep like crafting, crafting, crafting. But I wish you can make nails out of like the metal that I have. Again, I am a bear who doesn't know much about that stuff, so kind of makes sense. All right, build room. Nope. Oh, I don't even have enough money. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, um, 
I guess we're just gonna be picking up trash for a while. What I could do is go back to my other one to make it even nicer. That's another thing I could do. What's this? Sure. Watering hole for the modern tourists on the road. One extra guest per day in this area. Nice. Hey, chicken! It was switch. It seemed like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me. Tell me, child, do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Back in the Uncharted? I've been known to occasionally look away in the distance. No, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. If you think these lines are young, you are greener than the crudest sapling. There is nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Ugh, fine, I guess I'm not going to stumble upon something with pockets. Did you just call me something? I hope for your sake that they're not empty. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? Uh, I might have a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dreadful blaze. I don't know the fire reached all the way out here. Well, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. The shouting, the anger, the pain, as if it gods were waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there's a clear lack of stuff to bite around around here. Something that old diner was a sweet spot for. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. Uh, I don't know if I should... What is this? Don't expect trucks to roam to the A24 diner. Would you like to repair it? Yep. <laughs> oh, the breeze inside the garden. Already did. Don't extra truck services. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm not the one who's gonna do it. Ooh, nice. Got a diner and everything. Wait, I wonder if I could actually buy anything in here. Can I? Can I cook? Is that a thing? Double fridge door. Oh, I can stuff store in the fridge. Do I have to hire workers? You would think so, right? Am I gonna meet people to do that, or what's the deal? How's the diner bar going? Going, going, gone. I mean, done. You should know, child. There's nothing more treacherous on the green earth than humans. Those bald gremlins. They know nothing of this world, yet they consume it. The dark spirit will be angry with their return. It really freaked me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their own fortunes, which of course they don't share willingly. We have to pray or become prey. Or scavenge like rats. I don't suppose you've had any eh? bad dreams lately? Uh, no, no, I sit back with baby. Yeah, big honest baby. Don't worry, she only bites when she's told. And there's no one to tell her yes or no. All right. Let me go back and see what my people are doing in Timber Crossing. Because I haven't really checked them out yet. Oh. And they leave trash here. Come on, man. No guest requirements. It's empty now. What the hell? Well, I guess I'm just going to go pick wood. What is this? Further improvements available at this location. You must now successfully keep the following task. Raise a prestige level 3 in terms crossing for... Would you like to accept this job? Sure. No, it's already done. Haha. <laughs> is the job complete? Yep. <gasps> I have money! Oh, I can build it now. Nice. Okay. Let's see what the next quest is. It's over here. For the previous level, you must now successfully get the task. Get three to five stars in Timber Crossing. Special trinket that will put some pep in your step. Running? Get plus three or more five star reviews in Timber Crossing. Okay. You can do that. 
think we can. Yeah, I need that pep in the step. I'm tired of walking around and taking forever. Prestige level three. There's no grass request here, so bedrooms. Let's um let's give it some umph. I'm a big fella. Um, nobody wants to come here anymore. Does that mean it's complete? But I do have the money to build the distillery, so let's do that. Man, I wish I got that pip in the step. Right, so the distillery needs a four by five. Got it. That's one, two, three, four, five. Where's my distillery? I thought I, I thought I didn't I build a bar. Oh, come on. I wish you would not do that to me. I wish I should. I wish it would let me craft. Oh well, I got a distiller in there. You got bathrooms. Participants in the Pond Voyage and Pond Cruise programs agree to waive any claim for participation entry or wrongful death. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent. You are the one step closer to solidifying this establishment. As a premier watering hole in this entire desert, you couldn't have asked for anything better. As we are near the consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. That's new items available. Awesome. To that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. Okay, well. Complete a stay for plus three guests or more. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Level two, so I'm gonna learn it for sure. Um. Let's see if I can change the beds. How much does it cost to build one of these beds? Mm. Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. Well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. So, for things first, let's, um. Oh, no. It is bigger. Damn! It's a 10 and 6 versus a 5 and 2 though, so maybe I can get rid of the mirror. Damn it, this is not gonna work. I knew I need to start building beds bigger. What I can do is go to the other place and build that with nicer beds. That's what I can do. Yeah, like this. This one I can make bigger. Hmm. Now when I get more money, I can do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna get rid of this. Let's pick up the loot. And I hope I'm doing everything right. <laughs> All right, so it seems like I've gotten everything here. I guess let's go back walking. That way we can go grab the loot that's on the top of the area. Yeah, I don't have stuff for hygiene. I'm sorry. I can't book you. Pull up. Let's go. 
Everything's running smoothly. I've got money. Alright, complete this quest. You got all the requirements. Check. Press green. Ready. Amazing. This concludes our foray into the road side attraction business. Your extraordinary enterprise empire is expanding thanks to the hard work of your Pond Voyage representative. I never repay you. No matter, start working on your next premium property. Locate your nearest shark like agent and press the green button. Hell yeah. Oh, how quaint. Go visit an old lady when you can, will you? Oh, it's the flower lady, or the lady who's been living here for a while. Yeah, let's go visit her. Was there supposed to be a sign here? Oh, here it is. Welcome to the Pond Village of Investment. You can now further improve your establishment. Successfully doing so will increase your grant expenses. So you can also increase your bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now build five level two bathrooms in A24, a culture gate that can help tell time. Ah. I need to unlock the level two stuff. You're making your way all over the place, aren't you? Hi, I barely get here. I barely got here, and you're right on my track. <laughs> That's right, old lady. You better watch your back, or I might build you a bedroom. <laughs> you seem to have made it a little concrete island, arguably an oasis worse than the desert. It's saving you from. This place used to host all sorts of people, mostly those without a lot of time on their hands. One of them, a sailor, a captain, I should say, the father of the three strong boys. He had a lot of unexpected stops to make. Some would say his work was hectic. Hostage to the wishes of the sea, he would make the stop so often that he'd have a regular room all to himself. One could wonder, perhaps, why his room would also come with regular guests all to himself. We didn't like something alone. I suppose when the force of the sea follows you, even ashore, you curl up to any ember you can find. He kept the books on all maritime travel, he even showed it to me once, and his it was his pride and joy. The schedule, the clockwork, the coordinates, the ships, their names, it was so fascinating that I could help myself and stash it under a wardrobe. And he never saw it again, neither did I. I came back here with blind hope that the chaos spread the little book, but there was nothing but rubble and dust, not even a standing wardrobe to look under. Oh, I did find it! Yeah. You know, I never used to sit in any animal like you just roaming around. We were lucky to hear birds some days. Now you all seem to be running the place. Not that I'm complaining, you're probably more qualified anyway. You do seem like you're getting things back into shape. This road used to be full of cars and buses, people chasing other people's problems. Or sometimes their own, but rarely. You never had time to look after yourself. Oh, there I go again, by ring a bear. Sounds like you've been here a long time. If only you could blabber back and keep an old lady company. I seem to have fallen out of practice with that. Keeping company. But I'm not here to throw on a pity party. There's hardly enough booze for that. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a long walk ahead of me. All right, well, cool. Lost awesome and found. Completed. Ooh, the ranger. Fancy meeting you here. I figured something must have gone down south. Too many folk out of nowhere. The damn sharks got people coming in droves. I have to go keep an eye on the dam near the lake. Some of the barrier up to High Lake is open. If you make your way up there, look me up. I know the place inside and out. Ooh, unlocked a new area. Nice. A High Lake Dark Room. Awesome. It's, there's no level two bathroom stuff in here. I think I definitely have to go to the next area and so forth and so on. Because, like, right here, level two bedrooms in A24. But no one's showing up, is the problem. Oh, that's right. I could do. Oh, I have to see the details and shit. There we go. Um, 8 and 10. Do I have something for this? Hell yeah, I do. You get bedroom 4. 2 and 5. I can accommodate you. Bedroom 5. Debbie. You can get this one. 
eight and six. I don't think I have an eight and six. No, I don't. But I have money to do eight and six. Let's let's let's, let's upgrade. Hell yeah. Now I've got a master so I can. Let's see. Guess request. Oh, bedroom tree needs one more piece of. Decoration. Perfect, perfect. All right, so my bedrooms are all filled, I guess. It's tight, it's cramped, but it'll do. I'll make one more bedroom, bedroom for you. All right, we're gonna go to High Lake. I could go fishing. I have a bear. Oh, 